Games. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. What, uh, what is everybody up to? Are you painting along today? Are you uh, having your tea and listening to us while you're cooking? Or what are you up to? What are you up to? Somewhere like there, I think that's about right. So this is the Terran FX that I built uh, on stream last night. I've given it a quick spray over with some matte white color forge uh, primer. And now we're going straight in with some Leviadon blue contrast. So I've just mixed this uh, about a third of the pot was gone so I've just topped it up with some contrast medium just to make it a little bit thinner uh, and now we're just going to dive in and start getting it on Sharon's painting some drow awesome are they uh, are they for personal use or are they a, a commission piece Personal consumption, shall we say, if you were cooking, wouldn't it? Wanted to make sure that uh, I would have enough paint to go around because I haven't got a second pot of light on blue, so that's why I've bunged some contrast medium in to uh, thin it a little make it go a little bit further I think it's it's definitely uh, going on a lot easier I can't see it Tony is slapping Lamia medium all over his skelly bobber so the glazes will land <laughs> Sharon says for painting selling eventually but not a commission uh, personal enjoyment until uh, until you need to sell them then I see I see so I'm not worried about being overly neat on this chap uh, at the moment we've got a because he's got a couple of nooks and crannies and I think I mentioned before but I can't be doing with building things in sub assemblies so uh, I'm just gonna go background and touch up any of the bits with the undercoat that I might need to but I think most of the bits that I've gone over onto so far are the chitinous plates and they're going to get done with black legion which is very very dark Hydrate. so shouldn't really matter too much that should cover over this blue pretty easily a hydrate you say thank you very much Pete says, I've got nothing done. He's been in and seen you. He's been in and picked up his uh, latest purchase from the brush of Mrs. MLG. <laughs> Waved to tap you through the window. Were you painting? Did it? Yeah. You even drew yourself a little thing and you refused to go in. <laughs> I know. Mm. We know you know. It's yeah. an elf, though. No. Uh, yeah. So we uh, smashed through a good few episodes of Vox Machina last night. Was uh, was good, wasn't it? I didn't fall asleep, which uh, you thought I had at one point, didn't you? But I haven't. Oh, no, I've just done that bit, and that bit's supposed to be like the pinky colour. Oh well, looks like we're doing some touch-ups. I've just gone over onto a bit that we're I still never found to. a salmon pink for Sharon. It, that that pink, that green stuff world one, wasn't quite right. Oh no! But then, but then she's right because when you look, there isn't just you know salmon pink. It just doesn't seem to exist. It's like dark brown. 
<laughs> it doesn't seem to be just a just a colour. And obviously Sharon can mix it, that's, you know, but yeah. uh, but wanted a just a pot to make life easier, really. Yeah. Back to the drawing board. I thought that dwarf flesh was like pretty uh, pretty close, but it's close, just not no cigar. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. So uh, you've been doing some painting at the shop today, haven't you? You've been doing some more painting. Getting some more of the uh, decorating done. I've got a blister on my finger there, look. Can you see? I don't know if you can see it. Uh, there, from holding the paintbrush, which happens to be just, you know, where I'm going to hold this paintbrush. So that's that's awesome. <laughs> You're, uh, you've done a great job, though. You've got loads done. Haven't you? Especially seeing as you haven't had me hanging around slowing you down. Yeah, not seeing you again today, have I? No. It's yeah. just all touch-ups that need doing after general wear and tear. It's nothing exciting. Yeah, I, I painted the whole building grey once, and now I've got to go back round and redo it. Mm. We didn't have uh, mimic coat rack before. Yeah, but you don't like my mimic. I do like it. You Why think do you it think should I... have two eyes? Well, I did think it should have two eyes. <laughs> but it's supposed to just be like... You've disturbed it and it, you're waking it up. That was the that was the idea. Reese liked it. I, I like it. Just think <laughs> it should have two eyes. I didn't have to ask Reese. He just told me he liked it. It's because you're the boss. Sucking up. No, so not because he liked it then. <laughs> I don't know. He hadn't said. What's ever painted that thing up there for? He just said absolutely nothing because he hadn't mentioned it. What was that? What's that from? Do you know what a door is, yeah? Yeah, but I thought it was pinned back. I didn't open it, so I don't know what I did. All right. I don't know. Sharon says, it's just weird. But there's no sound in the no, there's no salmon pink. And that the one that we'd picked was very close. Very close. Uh, yeah, so I've just been uh, putting stuff in boxes today. Putting stuff in boxes. It's, uh, you got a. Um, is it Ruby Con delivery? Yeah, yeah, we've got big Rubicon delivery. We've got new uh, new stuff to add out of it. There are some new kits um, to create listings for the uh, the Vietnamese and the uh, U.S. infantry for the Vietnam era, which we've not had before. We've got a lot of restocks of the bases. And uh, well, lo loads of kits really. There's there's all sorts of stuff in amongst it. Isn't there? Different different tanks and trucks and things. Some of the jeeps and stuff have been out of stock for a long time, so they're finally uh, finally coming back. Good to see. And we've had a delivery of the latest uh, WizKids minis, but we haven't opened the box yet. So we've got like, I think it's Wave 17 and Wave 18 of WizKids unpainted minis have arrived. And uh, we think we've got more. But I haven't, wild Pokemon, I haven't wild unpacked Pokemon, it yet, so I just didn't get a chance this afternoon. Any, any genies? Need to find a genie for. Yeah, yeah, we do. We do need to have a look for some genies. There's some cool Reaper. Do some cool genies. Reaper do. Genies uh, just aren't my bag, man. Yeah. I just. Uh, There's a couple of funky ones. Thirty-eight 
there's there is a really cool I think it's a gin rather than a genie yeah, but same, same, thing. same thing yeah uh, in the in the WizKids range that I've been fancying painting for a while Perfect six cubes. Yeah, it's in, I think it's in my drawer. Blobbed a bit. Is it in that great big heap of unpainted minis? It's in that yeah, that drawer full of unpainted minis over here. I think it's in the bottom drawer rather than the top drawer. You see, right. So Sharon's put a picture in the Discord of the paint. And um, obviously screens are all different, but this is the Dwarven Flesh and then Sharon's added some pink to get the colour that she wants, so are you ready? Uh, yeah, no, I'm ready. Right press the right let's, uh, let's try and press the right button and then we might be ready to look at the thing. I can't remember what button it is. <laughs> there we go. Gee, what is it called? Oh, a ditto! Ditto escape! Nobody caught it. You're looking at the same. Oh, right. I see. see. So there you go. So it's like a salmon pink yeah. rather than flesh. But salmon pink doesn't exist. No. Nope. It's like this red isn't this red uh, in real life, but it looks very, very red on the camera. Mm. But it's not, it's not a Christmas bunny. <laughs> it's more muted than that, I promise. So, just a, a question on the Pokemon community game. So on the thing, on the chat, it currently says, Ditto escaped, no one caught it. And then it says, rigged after it. They do that. They, they do that. Yeah, right. so, it's, so they know it's rigged. It's a fix. Fix. So, uh, Pete, you've got your zombie shark. What are you going to do with it? So, this is. It's quite tricky deciding what bits to make blue here. Hey, Grogs! Good evening. Pete's going... It's going in the fish tank when it's built. All right. Oh, if you're going to put resin or whatever on it, then you'll have to make sure you protect it so the paint doesn't come off. I don't, I don't know what you plan. What's your plan? Tell us your plan, Pete. Tell us your plan. Tell us your plan. I know there's been lots of uh, people have thought of something for the great MLG brush off, which theme this month is flying. I know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Sharon's got a thousand, a thousand things she's doing, and I can't even think of one. To be fair, though, I haven't looked. How are you yeah. doing, Grogs? How are you doing? I think it was Grogs that asked me in Discord um, if we like. <coughs> kind of plan the streams and like there's a theme for what we're doing and stuff and I went no we never know what we're doing no and and that is not more true than today because we've only been home for five minutes and I was like ah look at the paint ah. <laughs> yeah wait well, walking home what are you gonna paint no idea I knew what I was painting I was painting this well, that's because you stuck it together last night uh Tony says Sharon three two one five Dusty Rose from Green Stuff World is almost identical to that pink. Dusty Rose. It's mm. a huge Tyranid. Well, maybe if he ever puts it in the middle of the screen, you might be able to see how big it is. Mm. It's, uh, it's, it's a sizable, chunky boy. It's that big. Yeah, I think the problem with the Dusty Rose is that on the screenshot on the computer, it looks like bright pink. 
Is it not really bright pink in real life then, uh, Tony? Have you got a little swatch or something? Because it just looks bright pink <laughs> on, the <laughs> on the website. It's so hard buying paint and not being able to see it. And all the, I don't really have a lot of pink. I think I've only got a couple of pinks and they're all really bright. I don't have many. Have we not got enough pinks? Do we need more pinks? No. No, we don't need more pinks. We don't. I don't use pink very often. We only use it when uh, when Pete makes us. Hmm. I don't. I don't have. I don't have many, and they're all extreme, extreme pinks. Yeah, you know, breast either, cancer awareness pink. Yeah, they're either like, like this one, like pinky pinky, or you know ridiculously bright that's like they're extreme pinks there's no like nice warm pink <laughs> one extreme to the other i took a picture of my painting rack and sharon was like no it's horrible it's horrible sort it out because <laughs> they don't all they don't all fit no so they're just kind of in in an order but not really because they're all just hanging around near each other, trying to fit. Sharon says, thanks, Tony. We'll try it on next order. Also, thanks, MG, for reading stuff out loud as I'm painting. So I didn't read the chat. I would have missed that. Ah, oh, no worry. I do try. I'm not very good with the old reading, as we all know, but I do try. Tony says, no, it's quite a nice pink. Very close to what Sharon has. I'll do a swatch after the stream. Ah, oh, that'll be handy. Yeah, because the, scre the computer screens just make the stuff look like all different things, don't they? Awesome. So what are you this is, this is why, with that thing you're doing? Uh, probably Thursday evening. No. Are we still doing it or is it just that you couldn't teach that person? What are we, uh, what are we talking about? Maybe I've got it. Okay. Well, uh, I don't know. You're playing on Thursday? Yes. I think so. Why have you not got some new No, not yet. Oh, sorry. <coughs> so, yeah. Uh, possibly be uh, playing on Thursday with it if I can't find another opponent. So, if anybody's in the Bridlington area on Thursday and wants to have a 2,000 point game of 40k on uh, Thursday evening, uh, I have an opponent lined up for you. And if, uh, and if we can't find him, somebody to play against, then. I uh, have said that I will voluntarily uh, probably lose again because <laughs> uh, I'm still learning, still learning my army. The yeah, the uh, the rules have changed a fair bit for ninth edition, and I'm still getting my head around all the little stratagems and uh, things that make the army go boom should we say so I need to need to understand a little bit better before I can start winning I think right so oh, I need to do all this back leg excuse me a moment I feel I'm going to sneeze At you. <laughs> I uh, woke up in the middle of the night last night having a bit of a sneezing fit, which uh, probably wasn't any good for Mrs. MLG sleeping, seeing as I apparently alternated between snoring and sneezing for like 20 minutes. From what I heard, in 10th edition, Tyranids are going to get a huge buff. Uh, well, yeah, I think it sounds like we might get uh, a few new units by the rumours. And uh, I'll be honest, I don't really think they need it. I don't really think they need, uh, don't really think they need massive buffs, to be fair. I think the army is more than capable. I think what they need to do is put something in to stop uh, meta chasers. As uh, as we shall refer to them, uh, 
trying to break the army, basically. Ba break the abilities in the book. So I think it's, it's what puts a lot of people off 40k is um, people trying to exploit the various stratagems and uh, things to make the army more powerful than it should be. So I think they just need to control that a little bit with the new edition. In my humble opinion. But yeah, sounds like we might get some cool new uh, cool new units. Raveners in plastic would be nice. However, I'm not holding out much hope. I suspect that we'll just get completely new units, completely new models. Um, and we don't really need those. We just need some updates on some classic kits. Uh, oh, Tyranids. <laughs> big, big creepy bug things that uh, that eat stuff. Ah, oh, it's just they're a, they're a proper alien menace, rather than they've only got one one goal seemingly, which is to uh, assimilate all of the the biomass in uh, in the galaxy. They want to turn it all into into food. And process it and then just move on so no no weird agenda about they want to rule the world or anything like that they just want to eat everything so it's simple it's uh, they've got we've got one tactic really which is uh, or should be charge everything forward and eat everything it's uh, Whenever I've read any of the literature, ever since I was a child and started reading uh, GW fiction and what have you, and you read anything that's all about Tyranids, it's all, like because they can't tell a story from the perspective of a, uh, a Tyranid monster, because they're all just uh, proper alien parts of the hive mind, and they just if they die, they get re consumed or even if they don't die they might get reconsumed after a battle so in order to keep the keep the genetic pool fresh after a uh, after an assault on a planet or whatever the the hive ships just eat everything over again all the uh, all the creatures that are unnecessary just get consumed back into the back into the melting pot and then re-engineered again for the next world. So yeah, to everything's told from the perspective of people who are facing them. So like a, a guardsman or a space marine or whatever, and how they're facing the Tyranid horde. And I just like it. Just like the idea of of a massive swarm of bugs descending on the uh, hapless defenders. So there you go. That's what, that's why they're my favourite. It's uh, closely followed by orcs, because orcs are great. I think uh, I think we did a little YouTube video telling everybody why we like orcs so much. Well, we've done a YouTube video about everything. <laughs> There's a wild Pokemon in chat. Uh, Nidoran, I've heard of a Nidoran. I don't want anything. It's because it knows we were talking about news. Because it news. It news. Knows we were talking about Tyranids, so it's a Nidoran. Mm. Right then, so I've nearly finished with my uh, Leviathan Blue, and then what we're going to do is I'm going to do all the chitinous plates with the new Black Legion. So yesterday, or the sorry Monday, no Sunday, Sunday. I've lost track of the days. 
been at work for so many days in a row now I've, uh, I've lost track. So, on Sunday evening after, uh, after work, I did a test of uh, Black Legion and uh, Basilicanum, not Basilicanum Grey, uh, Black Templar, which was the original Contrast Black and the new Black Legion, and I definitely prefer the appearance of the new Black Legion for the armour on these guys. So that is what we are going to be using next. Black Legion. It's free if you want to join in the uh, Pokemon community game grog, so you just have to type in exclamation mark poke start all together, uh, and then you get your first Pokemon, and then you go, you go on from there and catch them and stuff. There we go, you got Squirtle. Awesome. Oh, I've actually heard of that one. Uh, you can battle if you go below us. If you're watching... Yeah, sorry. If you're watching on the computer, if you scroll down below the, the videos of us right now, uh, there'll be a panel for Pokemon Community Game. And if you're on a mobile, at least on an iPhone anyway, there's like a little red square with a blue and white blob in it, and that's where you find uh, your Pokeballs and what Pokemon you've got and things like that. It's just a bit of fun, really. And Pete was too late, swooping in too late to try and catch it. Too late, Tony got there first. That leg's a bit wibbly wobbly, I might have to, might have to put, pull it off and put some glue in. Right, let's do uh, let's do chitinous armor plates. I don't know about these spines. I think I should do them a different colour. No, oh, they they should be black as well, shouldn't they? Really? I think they should be blue. No, they should be black. They should be black. Right then. So new black legion. Actually, the labels peeling off this one. I don't know what's going on there. But we've got. Uh, uneven paint label, that's no good. Right, so let's uh, get some black on the uh, on the pink. We're going to get some pink, Pete. Don't worry, we're going to get to pink once, uh, once we've done the black. Right, let's get some black. Slarted on. That's a technical term for anybody that's wondering. Slarted. Slathered. New, uh, new contrast Black Legion. Have got a couple of others to try out that I haven't actually tried yet. We've got some... Uh, what have I done with them? I've got some Leviathan Purple, that's a new one. Uh, I thought we might give that a whirl, but I liked the appearance of the Leviathan Le Leviathan Blue so much that I haven't cracked open Leviathan Purple yet. And uh, and also, um, I can't remember what the other one was. We've got another, another one of the new ones. Why did you, oh, Why did uh, you sneak them in the house? Dreadful visage. When did I sneak him in? I brought him home with me on uh, on Sunday, but you didn't want to come and paint with me, so I had to come in here all on my own. To do my testings. So the only thing that I find ever so slightly frustrating about contrast paints, and it, I haven't noticed it with the Leviathan Blue actually, since I uh, since I mixed it with that contrast medium. But if you notice with this uh, black, if you can see it enough, is as it starts pooling and pulling into the recesses, you sometimes end up with little white spots where it's not covered or it's uh, kind of pulled away from your undercoat. So you might think you've done a, a great 
coverage and then when it dries you have to just go back and just double check that you've actually got everywhere because there was there was a bit there I should have pointed that out before I before I uh, redid it but you can see it while it's while you're painting it's a little disconcerting it's not as bad as when you've not um, properly cleaned a, a Reaper Mini and then it all drags away. I'm sure most people have experienced that one in the stream. This guy is uh, freshly undercoated as well, literally um, got him under un undercoated several minutes before the stream. What are you saying, lovely? Probably not dry, but... Um... Oh, no, it is. It is, because it's so hot outside, it was drying uh, straight away. So what we're going to do is uh, go like get these basics done, and then I'm going to go back and touch up uh, some of the details later. After this evening's stream, we're uh, we're going out. We're going to watch Thor at the cinema, which uh, quite looking forward to actually. We haven't been uh, haven't been to the pictures for ages. Are you looking forward to it, my dear? I don't know, you, uh, you seem fairly into the prospect of seeing it. I think you're a secret Chris Hemsworth fan. Nope. I mean, I don't, you know, I like going to cinema because then I get sweets. <laughs> I don't like going to the cinema, do I? It's scary and there's other humans around. Yeah, I'll be there to look after you. <laughs> what colour should I do? It's base. I always just do them grey. Seems a bit. Why don't you do it brown? Why don't you do it like woodland brown? Uh, I don't know, it's got like a weird base. It's like it's supposed to be something and I don't know what it is. It's all like ridged. It's not cobblestone or anything, it's all like ridged. Yeah. No. Straw? Do you think it's supposed to be straw? Do, do, I don't know. Do hairs live in straw? I don't know. <laughs> I don't it's know just a it's just a guess. To Tony says, Nathan, that's why I coated my skelly bobber with Lamian medium. That glazers were just floating around and dragging away from the base Ah, yeah, maybe uh, that's one to try for future. Then give it a give it an all over. How did you did you brush paint it on, or did you airbrush it? Oh, I've just realised I'm giving him his tea. No, I was concentrating on not getting the uh, black on the blue. I'm trying to find the paint now. I am using the biggest brush in the world for this. I probably should be using a smaller brush, but then I wouldn't be getting as. Uh, as quick an application, I don't think. Brush! Oh. The airbrush is still in the dungeon, begging to be allowed out. Mm -hmm. In the dungeon? Why? What's it done to you? It's an airbrush. Yeah. It's an airbrush do mean, mean, horrible things. Yeah. We, uh, we haven't used ours for a little while, have we? Just need to... Or I haven't used mine for a little while. Need to need to have a bit of a go with uh, some Space Marine vehicles for Horus Heresy. I've got several vehicles that are ready for action in terms of painting, and uh, and I know what I want them to look like. So 
I can't achieve it with a brush. Can't can't get the smoothness that I want with a brush. Especially on the on the jet bikes that have got rounded fairings and stuff on them. Definitely need um, definitely need the airbrush out for that. Me and the airbrush don't play well together. <laughs> I don't understand you, it. You did a really good job of those turnings. I don't, the, those I don't like the fact, the fact you can't see where, where, the, where the paint's, paint's going. going. Mm. It's just you press the trigger and paint appears on your model. And, I like, and it's like, well, where, did, where? how do I know where to aim? I can't see where it's coming from. Oh, there's some more. some more's there now. It's like, I don't like, I don't like it. <laughs> I'd like to be able to have it set up all the time so I could just whip it out and use it whenever but uh, it's not going to happen is it no because, because you'd, you'd have, have to clear a space and not fill it with more unpainted models yeah and junk and, uh, and no, no. stuff that's very hard no oh. <laughs> don't let me forget oh. we need to take that guy mm. we rare. need to take, take a miniature, miniature with us to, to the, the cinema. cinema yeah yeah it's for <laughs> Apparently, we've, we've got, got to take this guy, guy to watch Thor with us. Yeah, because we're going to meet a friend, and that means I've, uh, I've, I've, I've promised him it. Faces and Bases says, Ahoy, NRG. Hello. I almost swapped with a chap in Scotland and was pleased to see it turned up in an MLG box with the usual delivery warning on it. Mm, awesome. Well, it's good to see that they're uh, recycling. Yeah, it's uh, anyone that's had a parcel from us will have noticed one of our stickers that we put on uh, advising the postman or uh, other delivery person to not deliver it to alternative addresses unless specified because uh, we have had in the past a few go walkies when they've been delivered to a neighbour and then we end up going back to Royal Mail and they go, mm -hmm. well, we, we delivered it to number 42. And we say, well, we delivered it. We told you to deliver it to uh, number 46. So why have you delivered it to number 42? Did you put a card through that person's letterbox and tell them that it had gone to the other house? No, you didn't, no. So that was very silly of you. So yeah, we try and, uh, try and label them all up to... Uh, in vain hope. Yeah, try and make sure that it gets to the right person because I know how frustrating it is waiting for a parcel and then it never arrives. And uh, especially, e even like the best mail carriers are only as good as the end user staff, aren't they? End, end service staff. Well, apparently, it gives uh, Terry the postman a good laugh. <laughs> so Terry must be one of the good ones. It's very rare uh, that they go walk about, but it was happening regularly in a certain area, wasn't it? Yeah. So we uh, we decided that we'd try and assist as much as we could, really. Yeah. And it's good that they were recycling the boxes. Oh yeah, definitely. Well, we we recycle boxes as much as we can. So sometimes you might get your order. In, uh, in a box that's come to us from a, a distributor or whatever and we recycle wherever possible because there's enough waste and even so cardboard that we can't use uh, or reuse in the shop gets sent for recycling and uh, and now the place that we used to take it to so every every couple of weeks I used to have to load it all in the van and take it to uh, to a local recycling centre, but now we've actually done a deal with them and they come and pick it up, which is much Woo! much less stress. There's a me. wild Pokemon in chat. A wild Pokemon in chat. Yeah. So uh, much better. <laughs> Grog says whenever we get deliveries, the posties always say the lad's been buying stuff again, eh? <laughs> mm. My postman likes to know what's in our post. Yeah, yeah. He, is, he takes uh, a keen interest is, in our post if it's got a like a. EMP label on it or something like that. He was like, "Oh yeah, like yeah." We don't yeah. Have, we don't buy stuff very often now. We don't have too much stuff delivered, yeah. do we? 
Because we have that place in town that we go to for all our minis. Yeah. And very, uh, very good selection and pricing they have as well. So, what I was talking about with the... Uh, I've lost it now. There was a spot on here that I saw where I was going to point out how the paint had not pulled into somewhere and now I can't see it. <laughs> Never mind. It'll come back to me does in that, a second. Does that look alright, everybody? Do you think that's, you think that's okay? Oh, I've missed, I've missed the whole chunk. I don't really know what to do with the base, so I just did that. I don't know what it's supposed to be. That looks so. ace. What did it do? It do? It's, it's a lot um, duller. It, 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 that's not really a good word, but it's not quite as bright in real life. This this light's making it look quite bright. That looks really good, darling. Uh, Faces and Mesa says that our boxes are then being recycled again. Awesome. <laughs> By them. How are you guys looking for Warcry stock? Oh, what, well, the, the the Heart of Gur set? You've got one over there. Yeah. Seen one. There's one in here somewhere. Yeah, haven't uh, haven't even opened our demo set yet. When I uh, when I spoke to our GW rep yesterday, the uh, the asked us what we thought to it. I said, well, I've managed to wave the box at a few people, but I haven't had a chance to do anything with it yet. I've been too excited by Tyranids. That could be something you open tomorrow. Yeah, maybe. Might might do an unboxing tomorrow, maybe. Uh, however. Yes. So if you're uh, if you're asking about Heart of Gur, uh, currently I think we've still got some availability on uh, on our website. And uh, and when I spoke to GW yesterday, uh, I didn't get any indication that it was selling out fast or anything. So it's although it is um, a limited edition scenario so there won't be a reprint or a made to order or anything like that from what they've told me oh. it's once it's sold out it's done so it's it's an intro box for the new edition on this you just can't see it yeah <laughs> the mini the minis had to dance for the minis us had to dance go 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 me down in sin minis so you never knew that tyranids could dance did you yeah that's what that was ah the start i'll just stab myself on on that bit there oh thank you very I'm much i want to move him i'll just stab myself like a daft there i don't want to break him no well, that dried the paint on the minis yeah mine's not wet <laughs> <laughs> it started yet. <laughs> oh, were we supposed to have a hydrate? I've okay. just had, I've just had a hydrate. Sandwich, yeah, uh, I did. So, gonna uh, gonna move on to some legs. I've missed a whole chunk of blue here. I'm gonna have to get the blue back out uh, again. Missed a whole chunk of. blue. Sorry. Thank you very much, faces and bases. Thank you very much. Right, so probably using, I think I mentioned already, probably using far too big a brush for this, really. Maybe it should go one size down, but I've started now. Just whacking it on. Oh, and even Pando got, got a little treat there off Tony. Awesome. Good old Pando. He was asleep earlier waiting for the stream. <laughs> so I think uh, think what I'm going to do, seeing as this is quite a large model, once I've uh, once I've found a base that it'll fit on, because the this is the base that GW supply this thing with, and that, that, that just ain't going to cut it. He doesn't fit on. His his front legs are hanging over the edge. 
It just doesn't, uh, just doesn't go. So once I've found a base that I like him on um, and stuff, I think what he's going to get is, uh, is some extra highlights and some other stuff on top of this contrast paint just to make him uh, look a little bit more centerpiece because uh, this guy, my winged hive tyrant and uh, the carnifexes should be uh, should be something a little bit special in the in the army so they're going to get a little bit extra attention Ah, facing base he says, I tended to have mine with overhanging rocks to fit them on. Yeah, I, I thought about that. I thought about like building the base up a little bit with some extra stuff, but then I'm pretty sure that somewhere at the shop I've got a spare base from one of the uh, one of the knights that's a lot bigger. Um, because I had an Take idea. Care, oh, see you later. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I had an idea. Uh, this morning that I thought I would have this guy on a base with some other uh, some other miniatures on it so I try and make it a little bit more scenic maybe with a couple of uh, termagants or something crowding around the base of him hey Red good evening that was very uh, that was very lurch you wrong mm. Good evening. <laughs> there's, a, there's a fellow from my hometown that everybody used to refer to as Lurch. Was he tall? Though? He was very tall. Yeah. Was he as tall as little Alex Horn? <laughs> I think he was probably as tall as Greg. To be fair, he, he was very tall. It was but very, then you were very small. It was very thin, though, as well. Because you were uh, only a wee baby. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tis true. Yeah, you always used to wear a suit as well. That was like maybe it was just going to work, Paul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm one of the businesses in town. How tall is Greg? How? Uh, we know how tall Greg is, don't we? Is, is he six foot six or something? I want to say six seven, but I might just be making it up now. <laughs> right. Well, Google's no help because Google says that it's 2.03 meters, which I don't understand yeah, right. because I'm still in, in feet. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't. Six foot eight, maybe. But that's Wikipedia. Anyone could have written anything because they. <laughs> as, as the contestants on Taskmaster obviously uh, regularly do. It was uh, was it Bob that had written on it the other day? Oh no, it wasn't. Was it? it was when we watched the uh, the repeat, and it was Mark, whatever his name is. Can't remember his last name. The guy who who registered the coconut as uh, a businessman. He 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 he'd done something on Wikipedia, I think, in an episode. Good quality chat here. At, uh, Two Paint Tuesday. Blobbed a little bit. So on the on the guy here on the Tyranid, obviously I'm just doing a, a quick uh, contrast blobbing around. But on the on all these sections where there's like ribbing in the uh, arms and things, then I'll go back and these bits will get. A little bit of white and then we'll have some of the pinky color in there so they get a little bit more detail some uh, shyish purple I believe I was using was it shyish purple magos purple sorry magos purple I used for uh, my test model 
that I like the look of the best. We did a uh, Hormagaunt with Shyish Purple. No, Magos Purple, Magos Purple. Get it right, boy. Get it right. right. Six, six, six is, is the same as Kathy's dad. Kathy's five ten, and she calls me like a real boyfriend, only smaller. I'm only little. I'm <laughs> shrinking. How, how tall are you? Uh, five eleven. I'm only little, and I'm and I'm shrinking fast. I think that it's like the twits, and you're doing something to my chair, send me nuts. So I seem to be getting a lot smaller. Well, we know and, it. and you didn't you didn't believe me. You said, no, no, you're not. And then we looked at the height chart where one mm. year we'd actually not only recorded Little Miss's height, but recorded ours. And yep, yep, shrunk. <laughs> uh, yeah, I reckon you must have had different socks on or something. Yeah, because that was makes height yeah. different. Or different you, or you, or you socks. Have, or you've slouched a little bit. No, you have to stand up straight at your heels against the wall and you book on your head. That's how we do it. <laughs> Come on, everybody knows yeah. the rules. I know. How many, time, how many times, times do we have to re-measure her on her birthday as well? <laughs> no, no, you, I wasn't standing up yeah, quite yeah, straight. She's a child. She does stand on her tiptoes and mm. doesn't think that you can see her. Yeah, we're all we're all hobbits and dwarves. Yeah, no, I'm tiny. I used to be five eight. Uh, but I'm not anymore. <laughs> yeah, you're five seven now. Shrinking. Shrinking fast and shrinking fast. There still won't, still won't be anything left of me. Yeah, it's not like uh, it's not like the twins. When uh, when I was painting today, and I got that, I used to be able to reach that, and now I have to get the steps. Mm. And then Reese just laughs at me because he's like twenty foot tall. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Sharon says I don't know feet. No, I, I I don't know the proper the proper things. I only know feet and inches. I don't know what it converts to. Centimeters and meters. I don't know what it is. It's uh, two five two point five four centimeters to an inch. Yep, still don't know what it is. <laughs> Okay. Come on now, how tall am I in your how tall am I in your weird way of adding up? Uh well are you? Five. Well let's say five. I'm five seven even though I'm probably a bit smaller so, than that. So, so five, five seven. seven. Five, five foot is sixty, 60 inches. inches, so you're sixty seven inches. Uh times two point five four. Oh no his legs come off. I knew it was too good to be true. His, his, or his arm. His arms come off. His legs come off. It's just a flesh wound. Yeah, it's just, just, just old school, Sharon. Just old school. Sixty-seven times two point five four. Can't do that in my head. That's uh, that's too many maths. Oh, excuse me. I do apologise. A little hiccup. Painting with this uh, contrast paint is definitely quick. Well, is that the idea? Yeah. I thought that, that was what it was supposed to be. It was supposed to be quick. Uh, yeah, and then you can. I don't uh, tend to use them because they're over, over your yeah. side. Yeah. And then you can you can add on to them if you, uh, well, if you want to. A, a clink. A clink. What's a clink? I don't know. I reckon it's another metal one. Isn't it? So it'll be another one of them weird metal Pokemon's. We've got some. Uh, we've got yeah, some. Finally. It is, they're like little cogs, like two little cogs with the mm. one eye and an X for, for its other eye. See, that ain't got two eyes. Things see, other things don't have two eyes, not just my minute. Mm. Yeah, I see. Uh, we've got some uh, 
metal type Pokemon decks turning up tomorrow, actually. Some Mel Metal and uh, Mewtwo battle deck packs coming. Strange link, I know, but uh, it was in there. It's Pokemon metal related. Mel Metal and Mewtwo. That's, I've said that out loud already, haven't I? Red says the machines are all in Imperial and we measuring metrics are fake. I, I just don't do oh, no. I just don't do any maths. I just avoid it like the plane. As as you all know, it's not really my uh, my bag, baby. Uh, neither is well, lots of things. Yeah. Lots of things. Paint grey. Paint paint grey on walls. That that'll do. Have my uses. Oh, no one caught the weird cog things. I really should have painted this cloak first. I'm going to get red all over his face. Oh, you, dis you decided red in the end. Did you? Uh, sorry. Right then. So, I'm going to have to do some uh, touch ups because I've been a bit rough here. But, yeah, well, if I can get the black finished, I'll be happy, and then we can uh, then we can finish pinky bits tomorrow, maybe. Yeah, you all gonna look after him tomorrow for me because he's streaming all on his little lonesome. Yeah, you won't have this going out and leaving me. Family, you won't have this random voice chittering in. In the background, interrupting you, you'll be able to just talk yourself no, no, without it's it's anyone telling you you're not in camera. Yeah, tomorrow tomorrow might be uh, chat light. <laughs> we, we shall see. I need you to keep the uh, keep the conversation flowing. No, you just need you need you need. Um, to vote on a conversation tomorrow and then that's what you've got to talk about. <laughs> okay. I think my I think my bunny is for a duo or a trio, I can't remember. Is he? Rask. Yeah, I think so. Well it is. I just can't remember which if it's a duo or a trio. I've written it down so it's it won't be difficult to uh, to find. See again, that's not as red as that looks on the camera. Honest, Gulf. It's a lot darker <laughs> red in real life. And that side looks completely different to the other side, and that's not true either. It's actually brown mixed with red. But it looks bright red. But it's not. <laughs> looks really good. Yeah, but yeah, it doesn't look like that in real life. What you're looking at. Look. Yeah. 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 Completely yeah. different. The camera lies. Ooh, it's nearly uh, nearly no, seven o'clock. Yeah. yeah. yeah nearly seven o'clock so everybody thank you very much for joining us uh, if you are so kind as to join me tomorrow night I will be doing my best to uh, operate computers and chat and paint um, and I think I'm gonna be carrying on painting this chap for at least part of the stream and there we go. Tony says, I love how fast Mrs. LG paints. Nowhere near as fast as Sharon. It's all an illusion. It's an illusion, Tony. It's an illusion. <laughs> well, it's an illusion that you paint first. Yeah. You just, there you uh, go. That's fun. Oh, look how tiny the bunny looks. No, I'm a tiny bunny. <laughs> boing, boing, boing. So, right. thank you, everybody. You have to glue this guy's arm back on. <laughs> Please look after him tomorrow. Tell him if he's all echoey and he's turned my mic off. Because it turns itself on, it's silly. 
And uh, yeah. Oh, well, I, I might be sitting in your seat. Ooh, oh, I don't know if you're allowed to sit in my chair. You won't like sitting in my chair. You can, you can, but I don't think you'll like it. We'll have to, uh, we'll have to see if we can make it work. Oh no, but if I sit in your chair and paint in your spot, have we got a, have we got a scene set up for that? No. No. Yeah, anyway, we'll have to, we'll have to figure that out. <laughs> right, <laughs> thank you everybody. very much, everybody. And uh, tomorrow, tune in tomorrow for a, uh, a quick opinion review of Thor 4. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, everyone. See you later. Bye.